Ever find yourself without a pistol? Well, just use your fingers and finger guns. Howdy, partner. Let's see what this here game comes with. We've got eight double-sided player mats. You have health counter clips that go on those play mats. You have a sheriff's badge, and there are also 16 ally cards that you will be able to acquire during the game that will help you blow other people out of the water. The rules on this game, Finger Guns, is quite simple. You yes. are going to put up one of a number of different actions using just your fingers, <laughs> and each one of those actions will do various things. You have Posse. If half or more of the current survivors choose Posse, all other survivors lose 5 health. You have Saloon, where you can show 2, 3, or 4 fingers to gain that much health. That is, as long as nobody else has put up the same amount of fingers. Then you have the standard Shot ability. Whatever you're pointing with those two fingers, that person loses 2 health and ain't nothing they can do about it. If you pick the Lasso ability and you're the only one doing it, you get that ally, and you get that power either for the all the game, if it's a keeper, mm -hmm. or for just one round, if it's an instant. Then we come to Dynamite. One of my favorite, throw up the Rock Fizz Dynamite. <laughs> Each person on your immediate left and right will get three damage, but you also take a damage. Then finally, we have that big old power shot. Think about it like a shotgun. <laughs> the target of that shotgun loses six health, but if you lost any health... To the shot or to the dynamite this round, that power shot does not count. So it's a risky one. If you lose all of your health during the game, fear not. You're still around. You're just a ghost. But you only have access to three actions. You can have the saloon, the shot, or the lasso. To win the game, you can win as a survivor or a ghost. Mm -hmm. If you're a survivor, you need to be one of two survivors standing at the end of the game. To win as the ghost, you need to kill off all the survivors by using your three abilities that you have and i like that you can have so much table talk in this game so you can work with the other ghosts around you to pick the survivors off one by one finger guns at high noon ellen thoughts thoughts wow okay i liked that there is nothing to it i mean you're you're using your hand for yeah, crying out right. loud you don't need a table for this you can no. put the little card Right on, on top lap, of your lap. You and if you lap. require any allies, you know, you have those right in front of you. Yeah. So it's really nice just playing it around the room. It goes yep. to a high player count. It's it's we uh, got a lot of people involved in this game over um the setting of just like it was a chaotic yeah. family get together and it was pulled everybody in and everybody just kind of sat in this tight circle and played this game for what, like an hour? I, I mean we played, played at least we played like three or four games. So in a row. Many, yeah. people, and then we just kept getting more people coming in and playing it. Yeah. So it really drew a lot of people with its 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 simplicity yeah. and just ease of like not having to really remember anything. It's all right in front of I you. Think Every rule you need to know is right on that card. Exactly. Yeah, it's right on your little player mat. And I think my favorite thing about it was that the game actually encourages you to table talk. Like you can be like, let's Kill Randy. Right. Like, he needs to go. You know, like, how, many, how much uh, health does everybody have? You yeah. got the one quiet person that's like... <laughs> Who's got, like, I've got perfect health, and everyone's and like, okay, got, like, two, all right. And, and they just take them out. Right. I gotta well, say, can, that was fun. Right, but then the power shot, you can kind of combat with doing a regular exactly. gun. Or doing the... Uh, super the rock unbalanced. And roll can you even say that word? This right, game. the rock and roll dynamite, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, good game. Brings a lot of people together. Yeah. It's, a lot of laughing. It's super easy. Now, I would... Much rather play a game like Cash and Guns that has a very similar feel sure. of you're pointing at people, trying to get loot. Yeah. More of a gamer game for sure, right, although right, still right. on the party level. Mm -hmm. But for those times where you just got to pop up, play a game, maybe somebody in your group mm -hmm. or your family has not played anything, this is one that you can just pop out right away, explain in a couple of minutes, and then you're mm -hmm. off. Yeah, and you know, I was going to say, I can actually picture bringing this like in your carry on when you're just all in like a waiting room and whatever, but it, it causes it really a well. lot of ruckus. It, you, you That's can't true. play this and not be like, oh my gosh, you know, that right. maybe they, right. people would frown on that in well, various places. Maybe not in the airport, but you know. <laughs> maybe don't play it in an airport. <laughs> or on the airplane. So right. Carry on. So maybe when you maybe get to your don't. destination, maybe pull it out that. of your carry on. Yeah. But uh, it's, a, it's a good time. Would I it's highly recommend it or recommend it? Uh, um, I could recommend it. Sure. I'm going to actually, yeah. yeah, I actually will say that because it doesn't claim to be anything. It's no. literally you use your hand and right. just like, right. is goofy fun? 
and it really pulled everybody in, and we laughed very hard for a long time. Got a good glowing review from the family, it really extended did. family, and I think you know that's I think so, that's that's, so that's going to happen for a lot of people. If you're getting together with people and they're not all gamey McGamertons, just a simple fun game <laughs> like that sometimes is all that you need. Exactly. Sometimes a gateway game is too gate is too much, and just putting <laughs> yes. something in like even exactly. below gateway just to have a straight out flat. It's, time it is below gateway. It's the way to go. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you on the next review. All right, bye-bye. Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.